And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Gruenfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Friday, May 24th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So we're going to start off the show. We're going to talk about Antonio Brown and talking about him going bankrupt, uh, filing for bankruptcy. So I wanted to get into that and just kind of talk about, you know, how he went from being one of the best players in the NFL to where he is right now. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into that, and I'm not going to get into every single detail because a lot of it is a little inappropriate, so I'm not going to you know, touch upon the inappropriate things. But I just want to go through just the timeline of, you know, from when he was playing to right now, where he is at currently. So we'll get into that. Then I will continue going over each team's individual schedule. So I know I'm right now in the NFC East. I did the Cowboys yesterday, the Eagles the day before. So now I'll be doing the New York Giants, so my team. And don't worry, the, the, the Giants are going 17-0. and Yeah, I guarantee you that. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get into that in the second part of the show. Then we're going to talk about uh, Josh Allen praising uh, rookie wide receiver Keon Coleman, talking about you know the kind of impact that he can have on the season. You know, with Stephon Diggs now not being in Buffalo anymore, he's going to be taking on a big role. So we'll get into that as well. We'll talk about Jim Harbaugh kind of changing the culture already with the Chargers, and you know how they're attacking OTAs at the moment. And then in the final part of the show, we'll talk about the Giants again, actually. Uh, Daniel Jones being confident about him being ready for week one when the Giants take on the Minnesota Vikings. So, with that being said, let's get into the first topic, which is talking about Antonio Brown and him going bankrupt. And... It's interesting because he earned more than $80 million during his time playing in the NFL. And it's like, well, where'd all that money go? And so getting into this now, he filed for bankruptcy in Florida's uh, federal court, in Florida federal court. He claims his current assets are worth less than $50,000. And like I just said, despite earning more than $80 million during his NFL career, he owes $3 million to eight different creditors, including $1.2 million to a truck driver that he assaulted in 2020. Brown's career was marked by legal issues and controversy, controversies. Uh, going back to 2018 in October, he was sued for throwing furniture off a balcony that nearly struck a toddler. He also was cited for reckless driving in 2018. 2019, he was involved in a domestic dispute uh, investigation. He was sued by his personal chef in the, the summer of 2019, and he was accused of sexual assault by his former personal trainer. And that's just, you know, part of it. Uh, there's a lot more. There's things that he's posted on social media that are really inappropriate. I mean, it just it just goes on and on and on with Antonio Brown. And for a football fan, like hardcore football fans, it's sad because he was idolized when he was playing for the Steelers. He was a fan favorite for a lot of football fans. And I remember... You go back to 2017 when the Steelers were playing the Patriots. That was in, I think it was, I want to say it was like week 15. But that was the game that Jesse James caught the game-winning touchdown, and then they called, they ruled it incomplete. And then uh, Ben Roethlisberger threw an interception, and the Patriots won that game. And that really decided the number one seed. But Antonio Brown got hurt in that game. And I just remember him being helped off the field and you heard fans all over the stadium chanting MVP. 
And then he came back for the playoffs against the Jaguars. And I think he had I think he had two touchdowns, but he had a great he had a really good game. I mean, the Steelers lost that game to the Jaguars. That the final score was 45 to 42. But they lost that game, but you just think back to that moment and to where he is right now. It's like what happened? And many people point to the collision with Vontez Perfect in the playoffs against the Bengals. Which was, a lot of people think that was like the turning point for Antonio Brown. Because he just, his behavior changed and everyone just points to that. A lot. Well, I don't want to say everyone, but a lot of people point to that injury or that collision as to why Antonio Brown is acting the way he is right now. Now, I'm not going to say that that is definitely the reason. But you go back to that and, you know, things started to change. I mean, look at the last time the Steelers won a playoff game. It was against the Chiefs back in 2016. Well, 2016-2017. 2016-2017 season. And... Again, I'm not going to say that that collision with Perfect had anything to do with what I'm about to say, but Antonio Brown was Instagram living while Mike Tomlin was addressing the team after the game because they were going to go play the Patriots the following week. And Antonio Brown decided that he's going to Instagram live and you could hear exactly what Mike Tomlin is saying. And that just rubbed people the wrong way. And, you know, even after that, you had him getting into fights with Ben Roethlisberger, I believe, as well. And after the 2018 season, because now we'll flash forward now, we talked about 2017 a little bit. Now you go to 2018, and the Steelers lose that tough game to the Saints in New Orleans. And that was the last game that Antonio Brown ever played for the Steelers. Juju Smith-Schuster fumbles the ball at the end of the game. Now, the Steelers weren't completely eliminated from playoff contention. They needed a lot of help the next week. They did win, but they still didn't make it. That was Antonio Brown's last game as a Steeler. And I think the the Steelers voted Juju Smith-Schuster as the, the team MVP, and Antonio Brown was not happy about it because he took it to social media. And... He brought up, like, he posted, like, old DMs from Juju Smith-Schuster before, you know, he was drafted into the NFL. And just how, like, yeah, he wanted my help. You know, he he was seeking advice from Antonio Brown. And then he, I think he called, he called him, he, he what did he say? It was, like, something along the lines of, like, Boo Boo Schuster fumbled the season or something. And then Antonio Brown eventually got traded. Now, initially, he was going to get traded to the Buffalo Bills. I, re- I remember. I think it was like it was late at night, and it was announced that he's going to the Bills. He was going to play with Josh Allen. But then he tweeted, I think he tweeted like fake news or something, and they were like, never mind. That's not happening. So then he got traded to the Raiders. And then there was that whole thing with they wouldn't let him wear a certain helmet and just, you know, he cur- I think he cursed out Mike Mayock, who was the general manager at the time for the Raiders. And then I think he, like, was recording phone calls with John Gruden, who was the head coach at the time. But then the Raiders, they let him go. And then the Patriots picked him up. And he played for one game in 2019, and then that was it. And then it looked like he was done. Then when Tom Brady went to the Buccaneers, Tom Brady brought Antonio Brown in. And Antonio Brown helped them win a Super Bowl. And then you go to 2021, and Antonio Brown has that, you know, that he goes on a tirade on the sidelines. You know, he takes off his jerseys, throwing his gloves into the crowd, and he walks off the field. And that's the last time you ever saw him on an NFL field. 
And then since then, it's just been downhill from there. You're hearing all these things. I mean, I went through some of it, but I mean, it's just, and some of it's while he was still playing with the Steelers. The stuff of him throwing furniture off a balcony. That was 2018. That's still with the Steelers. But again, that is not, that's not all of it. I mean, like I said, there are some inappropriate things that he has posted on social media. And it's just, it, it it's, like I said, for NFL fans, it, it definitely, it, it's a tough watch. It's tough to see because where he was at one point with the Steelers, and like, it's weird because he'll post different things and he has posted on X that, you know, he, he wishes that things went better with Pittsburgh, I believe. Or was that Le'Veon? I mean, both of them, I think, wish they didn't leave Pittsburgh. And he's criticized Ben Roethlisberger on social media. But then I remember he went back on his comments and said how he loves Ben Roethlisberger. So it's just... And and it did, listen, if it didn't work with Tom Brady, it's not going to work with anybody else. Tom Brady literally took Antonio Brown in and let him stay at his house. And that didn't work. Unfortunately, it's someone that needs help. And like I said, it's tough for a lot of football fans that grew up loving Antonio Brown and watching him play. And he was the he was the best receiver in the NFL at one point. But now he's just he really has fallen since then. And like I said, it's tough to watch. So that's pretty much what I have to say on it. Again, I could go on and on about it, but we don't have all day to discuss this. But let me know what you guys think about this whole Antonio Brown situation. Um, yeah, it, again, it's just it, it's tough to see, really, from where he once was to where he is now. So we're going to take our first break. When we come back, we will discuss the New York Giants. We'll talk about their schedule. I'll give you my early win-loss prediction with their schedule. And that's what we'll do when we come back from our first break of the show. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 